Hey, eel poachers. This one's for you. So, yeah, everybody knows that there's some good money in glass eels now. So, people want to go out and poach them and smuggle them. Good for you. A lot of us have done this for many, many, many years. We've paid our dues. We've bought our licenses. We've been through the hard times. Some years, maybe not even putting gear in the water because the price has been so crappy. It happens. That's called fishing. So, if you think that I am going to sell you gear so that you can go poach eels and smuggle them and sell them under the table so you can turn a buck and make some money, it's not happening. Many of us have had to pay our license fees many years, bought gear, researched these things, learned how to fish these things, kept this industry going. So why would I give you gear so you can go out and do it illegal? I have to follow the rules. I have to report everything to the state. They know every dollar I make. They know every pound I sell. It's a pain in the ass. I have to play by the rules. As do every legal fisherman. And if we get caught, we lose our licenses. If we screw up. So yesterday I had a phone call from a person out of state wanting to try and get fishing gear in a state that doesn't have an elver fishery. So if you call me from a state like Mass, New Hampshire, Connecticut, Jersey, anywhere down along the eastern seaboard there, and try and get me to sell you gear so you can go poaching, <clears throat> it ain't happening. So don't bother calling me, wasting my time and trying to talk me into it. Don't bother calling me and trying to find out, well, who else can I get gear from? I don't know, and I don't give a shit. Yeah, there's other people that build gear, and if they want to sell to somebody that they know is going to go poaching illegally, that's up to them. You can find them on your own. I'm not sending you their direction. I run a legitimate business. I've worked hard to build my business. I have a lot of good customers. I have a lot of repeat customers in Maine and Canada. I have customers spreading my name around. I have people happy with the gear I build. So if the word got out that I was selling gear to poachers, known poachers, how is that going to look on me? Everything I've worked for. Just because you want to go make money. I don't give a shit about you. You're a poacher. Who do I give a shit about? I give a shit about the people who hold licenses. And who do this fishery legally. I've been doing this since 2006. I know guys who have done it since the 90s. I'm not going to be that guy that goes and helps a poacher. I know a guy in this state who got busted in a poaching ring several years ago. He's a buyer. He still can buy. I don't know why the hell the state did not boot his ass right out of the industry. Huge poaching problem that he was involved in. And he still fishes. He's still got a license. He doesn't get an elver from me. I will not sell him anything. Because he screwed us. I sell to legitimate people. So, my name, my reputation, my moral compass in my head, I'm not hooking you up so you can go out and break the law. Now, another thing to keep in mind, if you get caught poaching in your state, 
you're facing state charges. If you get caught smuggling them across state line into another state, you're looking at federal charges. And I'm not going to give you the gear to go do that. So for any wardens in these states, down the East Coast watching this, any of these jokers who get gear, it ain't coming from here. <laughs>